Have you ever wondered what's really beneath your feet? Imagine digging the really, really deep hole all the way to the center of the earth. How far would you make it? What if I told you we've already dug deeper than Mount Everest is tall, the deepest part of the ocean Mariana Trench, and still, that's only a fraction of the journey to the center? Yes, from a hole dug by the USSR in the 1970s to the mysteries of Earth's layers, as part of basically a space race, but down the United States only got to 600 feet before pulling funding. But the USSR kept going for 20 years. They made it about a third of the way through Earth's crust and then stopped. But what if you just kept digging a hole all the way to the center of the Earth? What would you find? What would happen to you? Let's take a look at what's inside and what's going on down below our feet. But before that, we're working tirelessly to bring more mind-blowing information and epic journeys straight to you. If you truly want to support us, please hit that like button. It helps us reach more curious souls like you, and it makes a world together. Share this journey with your friends and let them experience the wonder too. And if you're as excited as we are for more incredible explorations, don't forget to subscribe. If you've already hit that like button, know that you've earned our 100% respect. Thank you for being amazing. All right, Earth is kind of like an onion. You heard that right. Just like how an onion has layers you can peel away, the Earth is built with distinct layers, one stacked on top of the other. But here's the spicy twist. While an onion can make your eyes water, Earth's layers turn up the heat to jaw-dropping extremes. Let's peel back this planetary onion and uncover the layers beneath our feet. This is the layer we call home. It's where we walk, build cities, and live our lives. The crust is surprisingly thin compared to the other layers, averaging just 5 to 70 kilometers deep. But don't let its thickness fool you. It holds everything from towering mountains to vast oceans. All right, I've got my gear ready, and we're about to begin this epic journey, digging all the way to the Earth's crust. I start with my pickaxe, feeling the soil give way, layer by layer. At the surface, it's all familiar, dirt and rocks beneath my feet. But as I dig deeper, the pressure begins to build and the heat starts to rise. I'm only a few meters down, but already it feels different. The ground is getting hotter and the air is thinner. I push forward and I suddenly hit something. It's the first sign of solid rock. The temperature is rising faster now, reaching over 50 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the inside of an oven. But I push on, determined to uncover more. Now as I continue, something strange happens. The ground beneath me shifts, and I hit a vein of gold. Yes, you heard that right, gold. It's glittering and beautiful. The remnants of ancient rivers flowing through these deep layers millions of years ago. But this is only the beginning. Just as I move deeper into the crust, my pickaxe strikes something harder. I clear away a rock, and bam, a brilliant flash of light. Diamonds. I can hardly believe my eyes. These aren't just any diamonds. They're ancient formed billions of years ago, trapped in these deep, buried layers. For a moment, I can only stare in awe, imagining how much these precious stones would be worth if they were found on the surface. But I can't stop now, so I keep digging through this ancient crust. The deeper I go, the more unexpected things I find. At one point, I hit something big and brittle. Fossils. These aren't just any fossils, though. I uncover a dinosaur bone, perfectly preserved, possibly millions of years old. It's amazing to think that a creature walked the earth right here, where I'm standing, so long ago. My heart races as I carefully dig around it, making sure I don't damage this incredible piece of history. Now I'm deeper into the crust than ever, and things are starting to get serious. The temperature's climbing higher, over 100 degrees Celsius now, and I'm starting to feel the pressure. It's getting harder to breathe. I've heard about oxygen levels dropping as you go deeper, but feeling it firsthand is terrifying. The air is so thin, and every breath feels like it takes more effort. It's like trying to breathe at the top of a mountain, but it's only getting worse the further I dig. And then, without warning, I hit another pocket. This one's different. It's a massive underground gas chamber. The pressure's so intense, it could explode at any moment. The heat's reaching insane levels, over 200 degrees Celsius. I have to be careful now. One wrong move, and this could become deadly. The thought of all that molten rock and gas beneath my feet sends chills down my spine. It's like stepping into the furnace of the earth itself, but there's no turning back now. Okay, I've made it past the crust, and now we're about to enter the mantle, the second layer. This is where things are going to get real. You've heard the stories, but nothing could prepare me or you for what's ahead. The pressure is unbearable now, and the temperature has reached over 1,000 degrees Celsius. 
Every step feels like I'm walking through the core of an oven that never cools down. I can barely catch my breath as I push through the hot, dense rock, and I can feel the Earth's power beneath my feet, vibrating with each move I make. But I'm not stopping here. No, I'm pushing deeper into the mantle, and what I find is mind-blowing. As I dig further, I begin to notice something incredible. This isn't solid rock. It's flowing. It's like a thick, molten liquid that moves slowly, as if the Earth itself is alive, shifting and rearranging deep below. The mantle is made up of these superheated rocks that are so hot they act like a liquid, shifting and moving under pressure. It's like trying to walk on a thick, slow-moving sea of lava. And when I dig deeper, I feel the heat increasing, intensifying. It's unbearable. The air is so thick and hot that I can barely take a full breath. Now as I continue my descent, things start getting even more intense. Suddenly I hit a strange phenomenon. The rocks around me begin to rumble. At first, I think it's just the pressure from the mantle pushing against the walls, but then a burst of heat erupts from the ground. It's like an underground volcano, and it's sending a wave of molten rock rushing up towards me. I barely have time to react as the heat surges around me, nearly knocking me off my feet. This is real heat, over 1,500 degrees Celsius now. I've never felt anything like this before. I'm heading into the outer core now. This is where the Earth's true power lies. The temperature here exceeds 4,000 degrees Celsius. That's more than seven times hotter than boiling water. And when I say it's molten, I mean molten. We're talking a deep, liquid mass of iron and nickel. The Earth's very hard, which is churning so intensely that it generates the planet's magnetic field. I can feel the energy pulsing all around me almost as if the earth is alive, its molten interior twisting and turning under enormous pressure. It's as if the earth itself is a giant furnace, and I'm standing right in its center. And the thing is, the deeper I go, the more dangerous it gets. The pressure here is so intense that it would crush any human in an instant. But here I am, feeling the raw force of the earth like never before. This is unthinkable heat. The very air is charged with electricity as I get closer to the core. The outer core is a liquid sea of iron so dense that it's impossible to comprehend. It's constantly moving, constantly shifting, generating the magnetic field that protects everything on Earth from solar radiation. It's one of the most powerful forces on the planet, and it's all happening right beneath my feet. I'm getting dangerously close now. The temperature has exceeded 5,000 degrees Celsius, and with every step, I feel like I'm pushing deeper into the Earth's bloodstream. The heat's unbearable, and the pressure's crushing. But what's even more terrifying is the sensation that this is the point of no return. If I were to stop here, I would be trapped. The temperature and pressure would collapse everything in on me, and there's no way to escape the depths of the outer core. It's like standing in the center of a nuclear reactor that's constantly active, constantly creating energy. This is where the planet's heartbeat is made. And just when you think it can't get crazier, I find something that completely blows my mind. Amid the molten iron and nickel, I start seeing strange glowing particles of gas. This is a reaction that's been going on for billions of years, creating the Earth's magnetic field. The more I dig, the more I realize that this isn't just about molten rock. It's about a living, breathing planet generating energy and forces that we've only begun to understand. The sheer power of what's beneath our feet is unimaginable. What's happening here at the core is what keeps us safe from deadly radiation, keeps our planet stable, and gives Earth its magnetic shield. As I push even closer to the outer core, the energy field around me begins to shift, and the temperature is now off the charts. It's an environment so hostile, so extreme, that no human could survive without the proper protection. Yet we're still standing on the surface, oblivious to the raw power and complexity beneath us. It's an unstoppable force, a deep churning cauldron of molten material that shapes everything we know, from the continents above to the magnetic field that surrounds the Earth. And this is only the outer core. The inner core, that's an entirely different world of its own. We've journeyed through the molten chaos of the outer core and braved the crushing forces of the inner core. Now it's time for the ultimate goal, the very center of the Earth. The moment we've all been waiting for. A place no one has seen, touched, or even truly imagined a place where time seems to stop. Where the history of our planet began. It's not just the heart of the Earth, it's the soul. So let's push forward, deeper than anyone has ever dared to dream, and make history together. The Earth's center lies a mind-blowing 6,371 kilometers. 3,959 miles, 
below the surface. That's over 1,000 times deeper than the deepest hole humans have ever drilled. The crust we started with? It's just a tiny fraction of this journey, about 30 to 50 kilometers thick on land and as little as 5 kilometers under the ocean. To put that into perspective, if the Earth were an apple, the crust would be as thin as the skin. Now imagine peeling that back, breaking through the mantle, navigating the searing heat of the outer core, and then entering the inner core, where we now stand at the brink of the center itself. Here's where things get jaw-dropping. The Earth's core is ancient, formed over 4.5 billion years ago, around the same time our planet was born. Back then, Earth was a chaotic, fiery ball of molten rock, and as it cooled, the denser materials like iron and nickel sank to the middle, forming the core. And guess what? The inner core is still growing today. Yep, it gains about one millimeter in radius every year as the outer core solidifies over time. It's like the Earth has a slowly beating, ever-expanding iron heart. Now imagine this. If we could actually make it to the center, we'd stand at the point where all the weight of the Earth presses equally in every direction. That means the gravity here would be zero. That's right. At the very center of the Earth, you'd feel weightless, surrounded by incomprehensible pressure and heat, and yet floating in a void created by the forces of nature themselves. Speaking of heat, we're talking about temperatures soaring to over 7,000 degrees Celsius, 12,600 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. But here's the twist. While the heat is unimaginable, the immense pressure, about 360 gigapascals, keeps the inner core solid. It's a paradox of extremes, molten and solid, motion and stillness, life and death. And here's a wild thought experiment. If we dug a hole straight through the Earth's crust, mantle, and core, all the way to the other side, and then jumped in, how long do you think it would take to fall to the center? Brace yourself. The answer is roughly 20 minutes. That's right. Falling at speeds of up to 28,000 kilometers per hour, 17,500 miles per hour, you'd reach the core in just a third of an hour. But the journey wouldn't stop there. Due to gravity's pull, you'd keep oscillating back and forth like a massive pendulum until you eventually came to rest at the planet's core. And at the center of it all, you'd witness something extraordinary, the remnants of Earth's fiery beginnings. The core is like a time capsule holding secrets from billions of years ago. Imagine standing at a place where the very first elements of Earth were formed, where the building blocks of life were forged. Every piece of the planet's history, every volcanic eruption, every tectonic shift, every magnetic storm, it all began here. But here's where it gets even crazier. The inner core isn't just a ball of solid iron. Scientists believe it may actually have a core within the core, a second, even more mysterious structure buried deep within. This inner inner core might hold the oldest materials on Earth, a place that's frozen in time since the planet's birth. The journey to the center of the Earth isn't just a trip through space, it's a journey through time. Every meter, every kilometer we've dug has taken us deeper into the planet's past. From the crust, where dinosaurs once roamed, to the mantle, where ancient volcanic eruptions shaped the land, to the core, which has been spinning relentlessly for billions of years, protecting our fragile world. And now, as we stand at the very center of the Earth, let's take a moment to marvel at what we've achieved. We've reached a place that defines everything we know about our planet, a place of extremes, of unimaginable heat and pressure, of timeless secrets. The Earth's core is the engine of life, the heartbeat of our world. And as we emerge from this journey, we'll carry with us a deeper understanding of the planet we call home. But one question remains. What if we could go even deeper? What lies beyond the core? Could there be unknown elements, ancient fossils, or even clues to life beyond Earth? One thing's for sure, the deeper we dig, the more we realize that we've only just scratched the surface of our planet's incredible story. And this story, it's only beginning. What's the next great adventure you'd love to see us explore? Is it the depths of the ocean, the mysteries of space, or something else that blows your mind? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your ideas and make them a reality. Your curiosity drives our journey.